Hi, I'm James Rich and I'm a home cook and author of Orchard Recipes from the Countryside. I'm passionate about showing people new ways of cooking with seasonal, locally sourced produce. Today I'm going to be cooking my roast Bloody Mary squash, a warm cabbage salad, which are both perfect for a cosy autumnal dinner. So we're going to be picking some produce today, the butternut squash, which I've grown here in my own garden. I started my veg patch actually on my windowsill growing a few herbs and it's just grown from there. We're looking for apples to put in the cobbler today and then also some walnuts which have just come into season and are perfect. This is an Annie Elizabeth tree, a really old apple tree. It's probably about 60, 70 years old um, with some amazing fruit. So what we're looking for is something that is um, nice and big. It's a cooking apple, so they're generally a bit bigger. Plenty of um, blush, so a little bit of a red color to know that they're perfectly ripe. So first of all, we're going to be cooking my Bloody Mary butternut squash. This is one of my favorite recipes in autumn and it's super popular in my house when I have people over for entertaining. So first of all, peel the butternut squash and preset the oven to 180 degrees and chop it into fairly chunky chunks. You want to have a lot to bite into. I'm slicing the onions. Again, you don't have to be too particular about the shape or size of the chunks of veg that you're putting in here. Pop the onions in the pan with some salt and pepper and four or five sprigs of chopped up fresh thyme. Next, we add the butternut squash and leave it to cook with everything else for five minutes. And then we add the celery and some cloves of garlic that have been crushed up. While the ingredients are cooking, I'm gonna measure out the rest of the ingredients. So I've got my passata measured out, I have the horseradish, we've got beautiful olives, some Worcestershire sauce and some Tabasco, as well as a fresh lemon. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a dash of Tabasco and two tablespoons of horseradish. And juice of half a lemon. Once it's been sat there cooking with the lid on, take the lid off, Give it a good stir. And now the butternut squash is in the oven for 50 minutes. I'm going to prep the cabbage and walnut warm salad. So first things first, you need to prepare the cabbage. Um, a lovely big cabbage like this, you need to take the outer leaves away. You don't need those. Don't discard them though, because you can use them for other dishes. Uh, for this, we need the nice young leaves in the middle. Cut the base. I serve it in quarters and it's perfectly portioned for two people. So just cut the centre of the cabbage out as well. You don't want that tough middle bit. Um, keep some of it on though, because that's the bit that actually holds all of the cabbage together and gives you those beautiful quarters. And then pop the quarters into a baking dish and season with salt and pepper. And then drizzle generously with some oil and add a sprig of rosemary and some chilli flakes. And then finally add your garlic cloves. I just crush these under a knife. You don't need to slice them or use a garlic crush at all. Um, I just like to do this because they give this beautiful caramelized flavor to the dish. And then cover in some foil and pop it in the oven for 40 minutes. Next up is the candied walnuts. These are the walnuts that we picked in the orchard a short time ago. They're lovely and green. When you take the husk off, then they look like the more traditional walnut that we are used to seeing. For this recipe, the walnuts are roughly chopped. You don't have to be too precise. Uh, you're just going to chop them enough so that you can toast them evenly. And then add the apple cider vinegar. And then add the honey. And leave them to caramelize for a couple of minutes. Once the butternut squash been in for 50 minutes, take it out of the oven and give it a good stir and then add the olives. And then pop it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Once they've baked in the oven, they should have browned really nicely. The garlic will have caramelized and that lovely rosemary will have released all of its great uh, scent and aroma. And pop each of the quarters onto a serving dish ready for the walnuts. And don't forget the garlic, it's my favourite bit. And then once the cabbage is out and on the platter, add a little bit of sea salt to both the cabbage and also the walnuts, the candied walnuts. 
and then spoon the candied walnuts over the cabbage to serve and finally drizzle some lemon over everything. Next up is the butternut squash. We need to get that out of the oven and serve that onto a platter ready to serve at the table. And then after that final 15 minutes, we're ready. And the kitchen smells amazing. It's full of spicy, tomatoey, butternutty, squashy um, smells. And to finish, I've put the butternut squash on a platter. Lastly, I'm going to just pop some celery leaves over the butternut squash as a garnish. Just helps brighten up the dish a little bit. And here are the two final dishes. To accompany them, I've made my apple and plum cobbler from apples that we picked in the orchard earlier today. For this recipe and many others using seasonal produce, you can check out my book, Orchard Recipes from the Countryside. I hope this has inspired you to create your own harvest feast. Thank you for watching.